Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's Two Minute Tip. I'm Rob Cohey, Industry Solution Evangelist for Autodesk Manufacturing, and today I'm going to talk about my hands down favorite newly discovered feature in Inventor 2010 direct parameter naming. I use parameters all the time, and this tip is going to help everybody out, believe me. So, in an earlier video, you saw me use this killer app that I was able to do real-time design iteration. What this application is doing is actually driving parameters. So I use parameters a lot. Uh, name parameters is, is something that uh, you know, if you're going to use any type of, of model, uh, skeletal or parametric modeling technique, you, you got to be able to name parameters quickly and easily. And traditionally, you'd have to go in and name the parameters in the parameters dialog box. Well, with Inventor 2010 now, I have the ability to just type in the parameter name that I want a distance to be, and I just type in station one angle equals zero. Here, I'll type in station one length equals whatever the distance I want it to be. We'll go to my uh, finish the sketch, go to my manage tab, bring up the parameters, and look at that. D zero and D one are now named station one angle and station one length. That is awesome. That is awesome in its simplicity. So let's take a look at another example here, real quick. Sketch out some highly complex geometry here. And so here, length equals whatever you want the distance to be. Next one, width equals whatever you want the distance to be. And it works in uh, not only in the dimension dialog box, but it also works in, say, the extrude dialog box. So here, height equals the value. Go to the Manage tab. Check it out. Yeah, I know. I know. It's it's crazy in the simplicity. And, and, and look, you know, I can't tell if they're laughing or crying either. Check you later.